So I'm going to be making two seamless one inch D-ring connectors today, working on a bag and the strap. Um, so I've, you can't see it very well, but I've marked a line down the center of this. This is um, two inches wide. It's going to finish up one inch. double-sided tape down each side, but I'm going to put it so that it's not going to be any place where I'm going to sew. I'm going to not right next to the center line, but off away from it just a little bit. That way when I top stitch this down, it won't, my needle won't be going through the tape getting all sticky. Okay. Now we're going to fold this in to meet in the center. And on straps, I don't fold them so that they touch. When I fold in both sides, they don't touch. I leave a little area in the middle, but this is going to be a seamless D-ring connector, so I'm going to go right up to the center line and stick this down. Now I'm going to touch them together. They're going to not have a gap between them at all, these two folded in sides. All right, now we'll go top stitch this. It'll look just beautiful. We'll top stitch it next. Oops, sorry. Scooch over just a little bit. There we go. All right, one eighth inch top stitching to doing perfect top stitching is to not look at the needle but to look right here this is 1 8 inch from the center line and if you want to do really beautiful top stitching look here don't look at the needle and don't hurry Using a Teflon foot 
252D. Anytime you're sewing leather or vinyl, you should be using your dual feed, so use a foot that likes to be used with the dual feed. So what I'm going to do now is back you out a little bit if I can. There we go. So now I need them. I need six inches for each one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'll whack it off right here. six inch D-ring connectors and these are going to be seamless so when you put your D-ring on you only put it on about oh I don't know a third of the way and fold this down and fold this up and we'll clip it and this way when you Put it on your bag. This is a little trick to um, getting around the sometimes the limitations of a domestic machine in bag making. If we folded this up together, it would be pretty thick, plus it would have to go into a seam allowance at the top of the bag. Then you have to top stitch that when your bag is finished. This makes it so that none of this will be in the seam allowance. Your top stitching on the top of your bag will be perfect. And this will be riveted with two rivets to the side of the bag. It just makes a pretty design element and there's no seams that show. as easy as can be. Kind of have them meet pretty much in the middle and clip them. And if you want to, these are not so thick that you couldn't top stitch this if you wanted to, but we've already got our, you know, we already have top stitching on here that goes all the way around. I suppose you could go across here if you wanted to, but our rivets are going to hold that. So we're going to I'm going to put two rivets when I'm ready to attach these to my bag. So I like them just the way they are. And there you go. That's how you make a seamless D-ring connector.